One thing I commonly hear from entrepreneurs, I heard this even before I ever considered going into entrepreneurship myself, was if they knew all the stress and work that they would undergo once things started, they probably wouldn't go into it in the first place. And now I can say from personal experience that there are times starting a company where I have felt absolutely to the wall. I mean, he's seen me. He's seen me lose it so many times. So let's talk about what entrepreneurs do to unwind. Uh, I know that the most popular things, at least in accelerators that we've seen and participated in, Going out drinking and getting dinner together is a popular way to unwind. There also seems to be a whole lot of pot in the startup scene. Uh, especially in California, yeah. But you could see why. It yeah. helps. Um, that's not what we specialize in, in terms of relaxing, because we're, we're broke on the pot front, I guess, and we don't really do the drug thing, and we also are, are rather introverted. So we have to relax by ourselves. So our date nights um, are our way of relaxing. So after like a 12 to 16 hour day, what we'll do is buy the cheapest but toastiest bottle of champagne we can possibly get, or if we don't have any champagne, just a ton of vodka for me and beer for you. And we do sort of pre-set up rules about when we're allowed to do a date night. Like have we accomplished X task within X time frame? And if so, then a date night is allowed. <laughs> and basically they just involve us making dinner and then getting progressively drunk while watching movies on a couch. But I have to say that when you do that after having achieved some massively difficult task for your startup, it feels really good. You feel pretty fancy. So there are many ways. So that. <laughs> to relax on a budget. Um, and it may help that you have a startup with a good friend or a significant other, but you can also do that by yourself. It works out.